Welcome back everybody to another In Touch with Steve Trundolo. Steve, we have a lot to talk about this week, so I'm not gonna preamble too much on Vince, that's Steve. Let's go right into it. Everyone's happy in LA because you've beaten the Galaxy. Yep. I know afterwards you said it's a relief. It's been a few more days now that you had to think about it. What are your thoughts about that win? Yeah, I think those emotions are still accurate. Obviously ecstatic, uh, we're happy for um, our fans and the community. I think the importance uh, of just getting the W under our belt still outweighs the performance, um, and that's how we approach the game. And uh, so I told the guys this morning, job well done, the mission accomplished. But we also spoke about what we need to improve, because there were parts of the performance that were not good. Finishing chances or, or attacks, and uh, losing a little control and making it a counterattack game is something that we don't want, particularly want to do all the time. And so we've moved on, and now we're preparing for Nashville, but I'm still very happy about that victory. Mila, on his left foot, shot, back foot, headed, in! Rondo cutting back his right foot, shot, goal! Winds it through the Galaxy! LAFC have done it at home! They beat the Galaxy 3-2, the final score! So you had the pleasure of letting three players know that they've been voted in as All-Stars, Ilya Sanchez, Chiqui Palacios, and of course, Carlos Vela. Uh, what was that moment like for you to let those guys know before training? Yeah, it's a, it's a wonderful privilege um, to let those guys know. They were uh, happy and surprised, but it's also important for me as a coach to, to let those guys know in front of the team, because without the team, they wouldn't be where they are. And um, it's, it's an accomplishment for everybody, um, not just the individuals, and that's something to celebrate as a group, and we did. <laughs> you know, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> And finally, our last specific soccer question before we get to our theme. Gareth Bale's here. We had the presser yesterday. Uh, he's now had his second full day of training. Uh, your initial thoughts on seeing Gareth Bale out there with the guys? A wonderful human being, uh, being able to come from the world's biggest stage and then get out of play and get here as soon as possible, go through it, the initiation we gave him Friday night in the stadium, and then press conference yesterday in training. To just do that without really missing a beat uh, really speaks for Gareth. And uh, he is fitting in well on the field as well. And we will integrate him as fast as possible. Okay, if you guys can believe it, we're on episode 19. So we've gotten to learn a lot about our head coach here, but you often talk about the team around you. This is the assistant coaches, and I'm gonna include John and Will Kuntz in that as well. So we wanna learn a little bit more about them. I'm gonna ask you some questions, and you're gonna give me answers using them. So these are superlatives. You'll get the idea. I'm gonna warn you, these escalate quickly. They start slow, and then this is gonna be fun. So let's start out with an easy one. Uh, of your coaching staff, and like I said, including John and uh, Will, who would be, who would you consider the class clown, or who could be a stand-up comedian if they did something else? Without a shadow of a doubt, that would be Mark Dos Santos. We just, he literally just came out here before we started yeah, this. I'm surprised we can't hear him as we're doing this. I'm most likely to be mis mistaken for a celebrity. That's a toss up between Oka, Nikolov, mm -hmm. and Ante Raza. So are you thinking mistaken because of being players or because they have that celebrity look to them? Exactly. Purely, yeah, I'm quite shallow and I just, just look at the, you know, the, the outer shell. So purely how they look. So their I'm, appearance is what I'm makes them look like go, stars. I'm surprised you didn't go John Thornton then. He's always, you know, Sorry, very well dressed. Sorry to John, but... I know, well, I mean, he's your boss. Uh, <laughs> okay, most likely to borrow something and not return it. I'm gonna say Will. Will Kuntz? Yeah. Okay. These are the ones, we've done player ones. <laughs> Sorry, Will. These are the ones where you're actually gonna get in trouble and this is gonna be great. Maybe we'll have them on later to rebut these. All right, here's where it goes up a notch. Most likely to die first in a zombie apocalypse. Oh, um, I think that's gonna be Mark. <laughs> because he'll probably go try to talk to the guy or the zombie and they, it, do something that we wouldn't expect and then sure enough he's the first guy so also the answer to who's the first person to die in a horror movie yeah. would also be Mark. Well, also Mark yeah because he's just so talkative. He's just there and talkative in the moment. So. Got it got it okay most likely to be sent off for something they said to the referee. Oh that's that's gonna be Ante for sure. Yeah he gets fiery. Yeah he gets a little fiery his Croatian blood comes out uh, which is great I love to see it just in doses. Who calms each other down more? Because I do see you guys up together at times talking and chatting. I'm yeah. sure sometimes you have to be like, relax, we're good, or same with you. Who's who's more the Well, I've got a, a Portuguese Canadian next to me and a Croatian American. Um, I'm definitely the one calming the bench. Down. You're the peacemaker, okay. Most likely to cry during a Disney movie. A lot of dads in the Ooh. staff. 
Oh, that's gonna be Thornton for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Softy. Yeah. Most likely to post a TikTok dance. Again, a lot of dads, so there's kids trying to get them to do stuff. I think you might be one of one of the choices for that. Shame on you. Oh, um, come on. Your daughters could probably get you to do a TikTok no, dance. No, I'm not, not into that. I, I would, I'm would. i going to say it's a toss-up between Mark and Thorrington again. Mm -hmm. Mark is dabbling in social media a little bit. John, definitely not. Yeah. So I could see John also doing that with his kids, but he's. I know he takes zero part in social media. So we'll just go with Mark. Who is the first to fall asleep on the plane? None of us are really big nappers on the plane, but it's a toss-up between Oka and Ante. Anyone snore? The snores on the team are part of the media uh, department, and I will not name names. But it's loud enough that it's... It's there, and everybody hears it. <laughs> well, you're now unnoticed. <laughs> Most likely to lose their voice yelling. Mark. Yeah. Because he's always yelling. Right, he is always yelling. And he allows you to keep your voice. Yes. Least likely to pick up the tab. This is where you might get in a little trouble. Oh, that's a mean question. Meaner Least than likely... asking who would die in a zombie apocalypse? Yeah. Because <laughs> it's real? Because the one's real and the one's not. It's going to be uh, Mark as well. Wow. Mark is catching a lot of strays in this. Yeah. Has it right? actually happened? No, because we rarely go out to eat together. Mm -hmm. It's always at a hotel meal. Um, but if we do, a lot of times it's John or LAFC picking up the tab. Nice. I need to be invited to those dinners. It's nothing spectacular, but it is a business meal. Free food always tastes better than it is true. when you pay for it. Okay, you guys get at it from time to time with staff games. I want to know who is the player that you think you might want to put some shin pads in before you go out there on, on the pitch for the staff game. Just, sorry, Mark, but it's again, it's Mark. Wow. He, he got me really good this year. Um, he's apologized since, mm -hmm. um, but he enjoyed the moment. So it's, you got to watch out for Mark. You got to watch out for Mark. Yeah. Okay. He's a feisty human being. Well, maybe you can make it up to him here, but I don't think this is where it's going to happen. I'm going to ask you, the final question is, in those staff games, I know that you guys kind of separate them, you don't really pick teams, but if you were picking teams, Steve Trundle, you have the first pick. Who are you choosing to be on your team? Well, specific to those staff games, it's important to, to we play on the mini goals. And so when Oka is on your team, he is very good at understanding angles and clogging holes and, and defending those small goals. So for sure it's Oka, mm. because you need somebody stabilizing the defense. And then if I can add an addition, it's John. Yeah. So the goalkeeper, even on small goals, is your selection? Yeah. Okay. Do you think you'd be the number one pick if I was asking the other coaches? Uh, I think so, yeah. Yeah. Well, we'll find out after they watch this. We will. Uh, it's been another great episode of In Touch with Steve Trinolo. Steve might be in a little bit of trouble with his assistants, but he'll go see them, and they probably won't watch this until we release it on Thursday or Friday. <laughs> you guys have been great. We'll see you next week.